343 makes more changes to Halo Infinite's progression. We get an awesome Starfield video giving us more information about the game. And Rare hires a new design director for Everwild. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. If you enjoy daily Xbox content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. The progression for Halo Infinite, the biggest talking point with the multiplayer right now, at least for the things that people don't like, has already had a change, giving us XP for every single match that we play. And over the past week, they talked about how they were on vacation for Thanksgiving and when they would got back, they would be making more changes and continue to work on improving the battle pass and progression system. And it looks like we are getting those changes already starting today. So this is a tweet from John Newsek, the community manager at 343. And here is what he has to say. When we made our initial change to progression, which added daily play one game challenges, updated weekly challenges, and double the duration of double XP boosts, we promised that we monitor the data and make additional changes if needed. Now it's time to follow up on that. After seeing our XP was earned with those changes, we noticed that players were starting their se sessions with slower payouts than we'd like. To address this, we will be increasing the XP payout for the first six matches of each day. An outline of this update can be found below. So starting with your first game of 300 XP, then 200 XP, then 200 XP again for your third game, then for your fourth game, fifth game, and sixth game, 100 XP, and then your seventh game and beyond will be 50 XP match and they say we believe this increase will help address those slower initial payouts while also benefiting those of you jumping on each and every day we know many of you want even larger changes and we're committed to doing so but those will take time we made this update based on data and player feedback and we'll monitor its impact after we push it live tomorrow morning as always keep sharing your feedback so this to me i think is a big change and also a great change for just the daily XP you're going to get for playing games. So my opinion right now on the progression of the battle pass is during the weekly challenges when those are going through and with the events and all that kind of stuff, the XP progression, the battle pass progression really isn't that slow. I think people are blowing it out of proportion. I think it was actually fine. Like I was getting two, three levels a day when I had my weekly challenges. However, once those were finished and I had finished the event and all that kind of stuff, the just 50 XP per match was a little bit concerning i was really hoping that they were going to change that and add more stuff to it and it looks like they are doing that by just giving more xp in general i would still like to see them maybe adding different daily challenges for objective and performance based based on the game that you're playing i think that would help out a lot too but now at least once you're done everything you still know that you're going to be able to level up relatively fast because i mean just at the thousand xp per level 300 xp for your first game and beyond like and 200 100 and whatever you're gonna get levels just by playing a bunch of games and games aren't that long they're about 15 minutes max so you're gonna easily be able to continue to progress even after you're done the weekly challenges but again they are going to continue to monitor feedback they're going to continue to see how this works and will continue to make changes going forward a pretty neat video came out today with starfield giving us more information about the game had todd howard on there had matt carafano who is the art director and Angela Browder, who is the studio director. And they were talking about Starfield, kind of the scope of it, and how it's going to differ from previous Bethesda games, such as Fallout and Skyrim, at the same time, still have similarities. So the biggest thing to take away from this video is they talked about how the game is gonna be more grounded in like realism and when you look at a game like Skyrim, where there's the fantasy, there's the magic, all that kind of stuff. And they talk about how they're building their games to be just games that you get lost in, which I mean, every Bethesda game is like that. And how it's not just about how long you can actually play the game, but what you do with it in your own world, how you make it your own. So that's pretty cool to see. I mean, nothing really unexpected from a Bethesda game overall. Talked about how much detail is going into the game from like designing the food you eat to the mugs to just a bunch of other little trinkets within the game. They also go over how there's gonna be like two walkout moments. Like, you know, when you walk out of the fallout shelter and then you walk into the world in Skyrim and all that kind of stuff. And he hints that there's two of them this time with Starfield. So it's gonna be just, uh, I think gonna be an absolutely huge and amazing game. Now there was no gameplay or anything for it, but I think we will be seeing some gameplay of Starfield relatively soon. They seem pretty confident in what their ideas are. And the game is supposed to be coming out in 
November 2022, and that's pretty much in stone. Now, games always can get delayed and all that kind of stuff, but it's a pretty interesting video. It's about seven minutes long if you want to get more into what Starfield is going to be about, the concepts that they have d dove into, and just kind of the similarities and differences between Starfield and the previous Bethesda games. I'll have the link in the description below. I'd highly recommend going check it out. And then finally, jumping over here to Everwild and Rare. So as we know, Everwild was a game they showed off back in 2019. And it was a brand new idea coming from Rare. It looked pretty exciting because you think about what they've done with Sea of Thieves. Then you looked at this trailer and just looked like something we haven't seen before. But since that initial announcement, that seems like there's been some just tumultuous development with the game, or at least the ideas have been changing all the time. Now, it started earlier when the creative director actually departed the studio so people were saying that this meant that the development was going to be pretty much completely restarted. Well, we got some more changes and that is that the lead designer of Alien Isolation, which was like a survival horror game, has joined Rare. His name is Gary Knapper and he says, thrilled to announce that today I joined Rare as design director on Everwild. Really looking forward to making some amazing things with this incredible team and studio. Now it's interesting because the previous game he worked on, like I said, Survival Horror, completely different than I think that we what we would expect from Everwild based off of that first trailer that we showed. So this game could be just moving in a completely opposite direction than what a lot of people, I guess, were expecting or were thinking it was going to be. Now, when it comes to the overall development, Matt Booty touched on the development of Everwild a couple of months ago or last month, and he had this to say pretty much saying that they're not going to want to show anything until they have something special to show but specifically saying when you look at it from the outside when you hear words like reset and maybe restructure i'll just say that those are probably a little more definite and a little more extreme than what really happens as a game comes to life but i don't know what to think this game probably has taken a step backwards they're reevaluating their ideas, they're reevaluating the artistic, creative direction that they want to go with the game, and they're going to continue to work on it and they're going to show something when they have it. And that's completely fine. I just hope that this isn't an idea, this isn't a game that never makes it to us because it seems like there's some probably incredible ideas out there that are just having trouble locking one down and making it come to life. So I'm excited to see eventually when this game comes out. I think it could be very cool, brand new IP, looks super creative, colorful, all that kind of stuff. And you never know, all of this change, all of the stuff that's going on could end up making this game way better than it would have been if they would have just continued down the original route that they had planned but anyways guys that's it for me let me know what you think about this in the comments below what do you think about these xp updates that halo is bringing over today let me know if you watched that starfield video and what are your thoughts on that and ever while do you think it is in bigger trouble than we expect if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new here if you enjoyed what you saw throughout this video i'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button help this channel grow help grow this community so we can have great conversations in the comments below thank you for watching thank you for your support and i'll catch you in the next video